Here's Carl in Reading. Go ahead, Carl. Oh, George, a couple of things. First thing, some of your punters really need to get their musical history together. Because somebody just put Led Zeppelin in, in the 80s exactly, and they broke yeah. up in 1980. Exactly, and they had uh, Bruce Springsteen making Born to Run in the 80s when he made it in 1975. Yeah, you know, that's really out, isn't it? Yeah. Secondly, that guy just said in, in, the, Muhammad was given the law to hand down. Well, then they were given the law in the Bible as well, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but we don't agree with that anymore either, do we? No, we don't. So that's rubbish. Isn't it? it is so me. you it can't go me, by Carl, something yeah. that old. You have to move with the times. I'm sorry. You have to be part of the solution, or you're part of the problem. Obviously, that guy was just part of the problem still. Yeah. And he, he thought he was phoning up to place Islam in a better light. Yeah, and he didn't. He's he's messed that up. Now the point I was ringing off mm. about was what you said earlier about the government forgetting about this Romanian who died on Christmas Eve. Believe me, they don't forget. I know. I've been there. I've worn the uniform. I've done my duty. Carl, do you think Gordon Brown will remember that 20-year-old man's I think name next week? Gordon Brown will lose sleep over that 20-year-old man. Ah, minute. you're I, having a laugh. No, I'm not. Carl, Believe I me. know Gordon Brown. You don't. I, I I've know. Met Gordon, Carl, I've met Gordon never mind Brown. met him. I've known him personally and closely for nearly 30 years. And I know all the other hypocrites in Westminster who will be waxing lyrical over the dispatch box intoning the names of the people who were killed in Afghanistan. They're hypocrites, Carl. And if you, as a man that wore the uniform, doesn't know that, then you need to get with the program. These people use people like you. They don't care a damn about the life's blood that that 20-year-old man just shed. And I promise you something. There's not a single member of the House of Commons will remember that 20-year-old man's name a week come Tuesday. I promise you that, Carl. George, he was put in a position where he has had to take this war over from somebody who shouldn't have got us involved in it in the first place. He has no option. He can't pull everybody out now because then every sacrifice will be a waste of time. So we're going to go on losing men because we've already lost men. That was the slogan of the Tommy Atkins in the 1914-18 trenches. We're here because we were here because we were here. What we go, where's that going to end, Carl? Are we going to keep our young men there to guard the graves of the young men that we've already sent to their deaths? We go because it's our job to go. We join up because we want to. We I fight. know that, Carl. I know that. But the point I'm making to you, and you're disputing with me, and believe me, I know more about this than you. You know more about soldiering than me. I know more about politics than you. A week come Tuesday, not a single member of Parliament in the British House of Commons will remember the name of the 20-year-old man who died on Christmas Eve. George? Have you ever worn the uniform? I, as a boy soldier, I did. As a, no, as a proper soldier. No, I, no, no, I haven't. Right. No. I was Have you ever sat in the House of Commons? MP. Have you ever been an MP? My local MP is Martin Salter. Do you think Martin Salter will remember the name of that young boy a week come Tuesday? Martin Salter remembers the names of the guys we lost when we were out there in 2004, because I was talking to him about it a few weeks ago, it's not the first time... You're we... telling me that Martin Salter remembers the names of soldiers dead in 2004? Yeah, because they were all local lads. Carl. Carl, believe me, he had a crib sheet. Believe me, somebody briefed him. Believe me, as soon as he'd stopped speaking to you, he had forgotten the names. And he certainly will never have heard the name of somebody from somebody else's constituency who died. Carl, they're fooling you. Carl, they're taking you for granted. Carl, they're spending your blood for their political projects. And that's no specific criticism of Martin Salter. They're all like that, from all parties, every one of them.